Today, I bring you my eto prepared traditionally. Eto with ripened and green plantains. Friends, the preparation is going to be local and it does not get as traditional as this, y'all. You see the croupot is even representing. <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> we need a ripened and non-ripened plantains. There is some roasted peanut butter. And we're also going to be needing our momone, and this is cured fish. This is actually cured right here on this channel. Recipe has been shared a few moons ago. We're going to roast the momone right here on the charcoal. And we're going to be needing some onions as well that I've chopped. Red Thai chilies and one habanero, adding some salt to the onions that I've also added to this grinder. We will also be needing our red palm oil. Now, let's start. I said traditional, I said local. You can see I wasn't joking. We even have a data saying action going on there. Let's prepare our plantain. So I'm prepping them by peeling them first starting with the green ones now the dad is saying or the pot i have on the fire has some water in it that's going to come to a boil after peeling the green plantains you also want to scrape them the reason we do that is just for you know cleanliness purposes I've added some salt to this pot and also some more water. Now I cook the green plantain first because they are more dense. They take a little longer to cook than the ripened ones. So those are gonna come to a boil. Once they are parboiled, we will add the softer, less dense ripened plantains, which I am currently prepping very easier to remove their peel because they are ripened they're also full of sugar so they are sweet and absolutely delicious and i can hear my mom's voice calling out for the 12 year old me saying mama ewehi brabu hu ko pot ni mai na breze no hu ntem no sansom ben tem mahen ai e yesu sha na e chu mo ko no na anyo no po cho chu na on fe ai no nye fio mama ya zai ya ku po ni shop and i know a lot of you can relate especially if you're from ghana yes our mothers did not joke especially if you are the first girl child <laughs> you're behind better be present in that kitchen when it's going down all right so <laughs> yeah so right now what i'm doing is grinding the onions and the chilies and because i also added a little bit of salt it created a cross surface to grind this nice and smooth and now I have added the grilled cured fish. Oh my gosh. So this is bringing us saltiness. It's bringing us umami. It's also bringing us smokiness because it went straight onto that charcoal. This mixture right here is the perfect canvas for this preparation, friends. So our plantains, the green ones, have come to a boil. So we know it's perfectly parboiled. So we add the ripened ones and throw the lid back on. We will cook a further 12 minutes and everything will be perfectly cooked. The ripened ones don't take too long to cook at all. This our eto dish is so easy to prepare. And you don't need a lot of ingredients, friends. Less is truly more here. The plantains are done cooking, so I have drained them and the water I just discard. And in the same pot, I pour in my palm oil and allow it to start melting. And then I add the other half of the whole onion, this time sliced and not ground. 
and I just pour those in there and allow them to caramelize. In the meantime, I'm going to start grinding or mashing the plantains, beginning first with the green ones because as those sit and kind of are open to air, they become too tough to mash. So you want to uh, tackle those first, all right? And I'm going to do them in batches. Obviously, my grinder can only take a few at a time, and that's totally okay. Now, you can grind this in a bowl, all right? A sturdy bowl. It doesn't have to be in one of these local grinders. So once we are done grinding or mashing the green plantains, we are going to start um, doing the same treatment to the ripened ones. So our Ghanaian Eto recipe is variant. There are several ways of preparing this. So this one is with a green and ripened plantain. There is also the one with just uh, Ghanaian or African yams and um, this one is by far my favorite because it presents and offers all those taste profiles that your tongue is constantly searching for adding the roasted peanut butter which brings another layer of richness yes so there is fat in here and there is also smokiness because it was roasted and there is protein as well So now everything is mashed and all the ingredients are in this bowl right here. What I'm going to attempt to do is use the grinder or the pestle to sort of get everything well combined. Okay, so we got that. You can use your spatula for this as well. So now that we have this perfectly combined and our onions have also caramelized oh it smells amazing we're going to now pour the oil onto this mixture now the oil is nutty because it comes from the palm nut and it is cooked until it becomes nutty and it is also spiced it's called zomi so it's crazy deliciousness and the onions are bringing those grilled caramelized sweet aroma to the dish. So you can only imagine what a happy day it is. Well, now we're going to stir it all together and make sure that the oil is perfectly incorporated into the entire mixture. And then we're ready to serve. Now to serve, you want some avocados, you want some hard boiled eggs, also some roasted peanuts, and voila, that is all she wrote. Few ingredients, perfect dish. Great conversation starter. I hope that you have learned a thing or two and are inspired to try the recipe. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is tough time. And here in Anaba's Kitchen, tough time is always yes, friend. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here. <laughs>